Hey you guys, Desmond here. I'm Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing Catch Up, honey. We are going to be sitting here discussing not one, not two, but three episodes of Drag Race España. Now, you know we got behind because we went down on to the L.A., and then uh, we were originally supposed to do this last week, but Tom just wasn't our friend. Look, it was the last week of school for me. Yeah. And it was a very busy week. And then this weekend, all I wanted to do was sleep. <laughs> but yes, we so. are here today to get all caught up. Now, we're just going to be going over the meat and potatoes. We're not going to get into the gravy or any of the other sides. We're just going to stick to the the main course. Because we got three episodes. Although there were some things about like the last two episodes where I was like, mm. 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 But let's go ahead and get into it immediately. Whoa, whoa, boom. So on the first episode, which was the Snatch Game, we start off the episode after saying goodbye to Kelly Roller. And uh, wink, wink, we won't be saying goodbye to her for much longer. Um, so they're sitting yeah. there, and they're saying goodbye. Uh, Supreme, we're already on the next day. Like I said, we're pushing through. Uh, Supreme comes in the next day, and we have the reading challenge. So what do we think of this reading challenge for Drag Race España Season 3? It was okay. It was okay. Like, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Like, we've seen worse. <laughs> yeah. Let's not talk about that Candle versus World reading challenge. Lord. Ooh. Lord, that, that was probably the worst reading challenge I've ever seen. Probably up there with season mm. 11s. My God. But, so we had our reading challenge. We're not going to go over each individual person how they did. But I do want to talk about Miss Vanya Vanilla. You know, she had her moment. And, you know, she had to step out. She had to get a good cry out. And she was ready to come back in and slay. And I'm glad they kept that uh, in. What, 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 what was the, the, the precursor for that? I really don't know. They really didn't show. But, she, you know, she came in real emotional that morning. I'm not sure if her... I mean, I because I, I kind of understand, like, you just wake up one day and you're just like, I need to cry. I just need a mm -hmm. hug. Mm hmm And I don't know if maybe uh, she was really close with Kelly, and, you know, that could play a factor in there as well. Um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, because there was a lot of that going on. Yeah, so, like, she stepped out, she got a good cry, and she came back, and she was ready to go. That's me. When I'm too frustrated or just there's a lot going on, let me go off. Let me cry. I'll be back. Oh, and yeah. That's how I felt like a couple weeks ago, like mm -hmm. the week before we went to L.A. And I know I'm laughing. And it, it's, it's only because, like, not necessarily over it, but I'm just kind of like, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, so I found out on... May 2nd, like, at 5.30 a.m. that my sister had passed away. And all I could think about was, okay, we're going to go to work, and we're not going to think about it. We're just going to go to work, and we're not going to think about it. And it was like, I got to work, and everybody's like, hey, how you doing? And it's a, it, it's a simple question. It's literally like the most innocent of questions. And usually some, I'm complicated, so I, I got to go through everything. But like most people be like, oh, I'm good. Or, oh, you know, it's not the best of days, but it is what it is and keep it moving. And I'm sitting here and they're just like, hey, how you doing? And I'm just like, I don't know. Because I couldn't feel shit. Mm -hmm. And so... They're like, well, what's wrong? I'm like, oh, I just found out my sister died. And everybody's looking at me like, the fuck are you doing here? That part, like, when she know. told me she went to work, I'm like, ma'am, why? <laughs> I was just like, I don't know. I'm just here. Like, just, just you know. And I, I made it through a little bit. And then we had a fire drill. And one of the babies just came. And, like, I don't know what happened. 
the last couple of weeks and I oh it's so sad because he's not gonna be there next year one of the little babies came and he um just ran up to me and hugged my leg and I was just like oh <laughs> and what started out is like the really funny tears because it's like oh how cute I'm his best friend now turned into oh my god I'm crying and I don't know how to stop and then I finally stopped and I go to lunch or I take the little ones to lunch and some one of the the the, the father figure even though me and this man are literally about the same age the father figure in my life goes hey how are you and I just went <laughs> And everybody's like, what the heck is wrong with you? And I'm like, my sister passed away this morning. And they were like, bitch, go home. No, I don't want to go home. Just stop asking me how I'm doing and I'll be able to make it through the day. Bitch, go home. So finally I went home and then I cried for literally five hours and then went to sleep. And then came to work the next day and they were like, why are you here? It's like, because I've cried, I've gotten it out, I'm better now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how it was when my granny passed. I got that good cry out and I was able to get up and continue on. I had a few more along the way, but I got that real big one out and I was ready to move on, move forward. I think I just felt, after that, I think it was just like a... a, a fuck ton of guilt especially when i found out that her funeral was going to be that next tuesday and literally literally three days later we were going to be in la and i was just supposed to act like everything was fine <laughs> but anyways moving on vinia vinia had a good cry out and then what happened mm -hmm. But yeah, so, you know, people, they go through it. So I was glad she was able to come back because at first I thought she was going to leave the competition. I'm like, oh, no. Me too. I thought so, too. I was like, oh, are we having, like, another Heidi in closet moment? Like, Even I, though her moment came before Heidi's, but I digress. But yeah, it was just, I was I was sitting there, I was a little worried for her. I'm glad she came back. I was glad she was able to push through. And I'm glad she was able to say, I need a moment. I need right. a moment. Can I step away? And I love that Supreme allowed her to have that moment. Yeah. Be like, you go have your moment. We will wait. Mm hmm We will All wait. Alright, now come back and make us laugh. And she came back and she did a good job in the reading challenge. But we find out that the winner of the reading challenge is Paquita. And I have to say that little heifer, as soon as she was up there reading, I'm like, oh, she won. Oh, she won. <laughs> oh, she won. Oh, you, uh, you uh, shady Pequita. little girl. I'm so sad for like the third episode. Oh my God. We're going to talk about that. But yeah, I was like, oh, you shady little thing, you. Shady little thing, you. Mm -hmm. But then Supreme announced that this week they'll be doing the Snatch Game. And it was very weird. It went from Supreme saying, oh, we're going to do the Snatch Game straight to Snatch Game. Right, no, let's figure out who we doing. I thought I missed something. <laughs> I did too. I'm like, wait, because I was laying here in my bed watching. I'm like, hold up. I, I, I it. think I was in the living room. I was in the I was in the, the kitchen cooking while this was playing. And I was like, did I miss something? And I went back to try and look for it and nothing. And I, okay, I don't know what's going on, but all right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was shocked myself. But we went straight into it, honey. So let's talk about this here Snatch Game. Now, I have, I have their Snatch Game characters pulled up here. Hold on. So first we have the Macarena as Paca La Piñara. And um, this wasn't good. No. And not on top of it, not only was it not good, they didn't even show her. At all, like she got, she had I a few. Actually, little, was there. She was just there for a few little moments. I'm like, are, are we not? Did the Macarena do that bad that they're like, you know what? Let's just not dig deep into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they, not they were, even one answer made it. Bro. Yeah, like they could have emphasized on how bad she was doing. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move onward. We have 
Bestia as Isabel La Habres. I hope I'm saying that right. This is another I one. I can't see it because somebody else's head is in the way, so I can't even correct you. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, I'm looking at uh, of the website, the Drag Race Wiki that has all of it up for me. But, um, yeah, I was like, same with Macarena, but they were actually showing her doing bad. Because I, mm. it wasn't funny, but I will say she committed to the character. Mm-hmm. She committed. Speaking of committing, Cornelia as Juan Carlos the <laughs> first. Oh, I hollered. I was hollering. I was hollering. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> And then on top of that, uh, she played so well uh, with um, Vanya's... Off of people. Uh, yeah, especially Vanya's uh, Barbara Ray. Mm-hmm. These two right here were gold. When I tell you every oh time... Oh my God, wait a minute. Because I remember looking up and Barbara was in the dude's lap just going... <laughs> Yes. I was like, no, we're not giving you that on TV. Oh my god, it was so good. Them two right there just played off each other so well. Even their individual Too bad moments. we couldn't have had two winners. Baby, honestly, I'm shocked. We'll talk about the winner, but I'm shocked the winner won, to be honest with you. That part. I thought it was going to be either Vanya or Hornell, or they were going to do a double win and make them split the money, but no. We'll get to that, but yeah, she did an amazing job. And then up next is Pink Shadora as Lola Flores. Lola Flores. And I thought she did a good job. Yeah. It was a good job. I laughed. I chuckled. But to me, it wasn't as good as the the two we just spoke the, the about. The two previous. So I'm, I'm confusion on the win that she got this week. And even when the judges were giving her praise, I'm like, whoa, y'all acting like this is just top tier level shit right here. The top uh, tier level maybe shit was they the didn't two show us how good she did. Because other than that, because I thought she did a good job, and I do agree with her being in the top. But like when they said she won, I'm like Pink Shadora. Really? Are you sure? Did you you sure you didn't mean to say maybe somebody I to, else? I had to rewind. Who did Pink Shadora do? No, no, <laughs> no. And I love me some Pink Shadora. Hmm. Um. Up next is. <laughs> Paquita as Peppa Pink. Who told her to do this? I don't know. She looked like Peppa Pig. It's a play off of Peppa Pig. I thought so. And I'm sitting here thinking, I think it is. Hold on, I'll double check. Yeah, it's a play off of Peppa Pig. And I was just sitting there and like, not only was it not good, it Mm -hmm. was like bad. Like cringe level bad. Yeah, you know. Like when she pulled out that titty, I'm like, "Girl, what are you doing? This ain't it. This this is not it, honey. This is not it at all." I just no, (laughs) no, no, no. It's a no for me, dog. It was a hell no for me, dog. (laughs) A hell no for me, dog. Lord, is there anything you want to add to this um, Mm -mm. interesting situation we had with the Peppa Pink? Nope. Okay. So let's move onwards to Clover Beach. Let's see. Clover did... Hmm. Miate Galdino. Galdano? Galdano? Galdiano. Galdiano? Mm-hmm. Mate. Mate Galdiano. Galdiano. Okay, we're going to go with that. We are going to go Mate. with that. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, what did you think of Clover Beach here? Mmm. Mm. Compared to yeah. uh, compared like, to some, she did better. Yeah, like it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. good. 
And like I said, I, I didn't know the character, but also she didn't make me feel like I knew the character. Like with she Ornelia and um, with Ornelia and Vanya, I really felt like I knew who the character was while sitting there watching them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I didn't get that feeling with Clover Bish here. I didn't. Moving on to uh, Petiti, Petita, and she did Sarah Montiel. Baby, this this didn't work for me either. No. No. I am shocked she wasn't in the bottom. Mm. To be honest with you. I, I, I really thought she was going to, at least low. At least low. At least low. Like, she should have got critiqued for this. This was not a safe performance. No. This was, you need to be told how bad you did performance. Mm-hmm. Like, let me give you some advice for next time. Yeah. And then our last one was Visa doing Paulina Rubirio, Rubirio, Lord Rubio. And this is the only person I knew on the panel. I was shocked when I saw that uh, she was doing Paulina. I'm like, ah! Yeah. Because um, I watched X Factor when it was here in the United States. And for uh-huh. season three, Paulina was a judge on there. Yeah. And um, I remember her EP. Oh, God, what was the name of it? I remember Boys Will Be Boys was on it. Say the Word. Oh, those those two right there are like some of my favorite songs ever. So, yeah, like that introduced me to Paulina. And I was like super excited to see somebody that I knew. I'm like, oh, Paulina. <laughs> Yay. And I thought she did a damn good job. It was funny. Mm. She it was she had Supreme laughing. Especially at the beginning there. Now, you know, that's very important having the judges laugh. It is. All right. And we were joined this week. Hold on, let me get the name. Uh, her name is Karina. And then Poopy Daddy. Poison came back <laughs> doing an impersonation of Karina. So they were Karina and Poopyena. Poopyena. And I, I love me some Poopy Poison. I forgot how much I miss Poopy Poison until I saw her here. I'm mm-hmm. like, Poopy Poison. Poopy lost a little bit of weight. I'm like, Poopy, I missed you, honey. But uh, rumor has it, we might see her We might see her soon. Wink, wink. Um, But I missed her. And I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't wait to possibly maybe kind of see her maybe in the future one day. Anyway, mm. we're going straight to the main stage. What did we think of Supreme's look for this week? Um, Very avant-garde. Very avant-garde. It was hard to get an upfront shot for the full body, so I had to get this little side one here. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, I really enjoyed this. I was like, okay. It gave me something Art Simone would wear. Yeah. It yeah, gave me very I Art Simone. Gave very art Simone. Um, but we were joined by Javier Ambrosi and a locking Javier Cavo and La Tierra. La Tierra Moto is what Supreme called her, but they only put La Tierra on here. Mm. But I've also noticed with Petita, every time Supreme referenced her, she said Petita Queen. So I'm like, did mm-hmm. she go by Petita, Petita Queen at the time and just decided to drop the Queen part? By the time the show came out, so the whole time, because the whole season, Supreme has called her Petita Queen. But anyway. Mm, or maybe that's just how she knows her, like, outside of Drag Race, and that's just what she wants to I'm call gonna say, her. I'm going to say, I'm going to Google her and see if at one point she did go by Petita Queen, and I'm guessing during the show she must have and decided not to afterwards. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But anyway. You so. know, go mid-season and pull a mohawk. Yeah. So up next, the category is show your feathers. So we got to wear some feathers. Some some feathers, honey. So if you were given the category of feathers, what would you do? Feathers. Now you knew this question was back, honey. You knew this question. I forgot. (laughs) I forgot. (laughs) Uh, Oh. I would probably do a burlesque dancer mm-hmm. with a big ostrich plume fans. I would do a hawk. No, 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 no. I would do an eagle. I would do an eagle. Something that is so American. 
and make it gay as hell. I would. I would do an eagle. Yes, I will serve you eagle realness. But anyway, let's get into these looks. Up first, we had Clover Beach. And I thought this was stunning. Yes, I love her. And I'm mad they keep playing on Baby, the Baby, they face. keep playing in her face. We're going to talk about that comedy challenge. Oh, I we're going to talk about the rusical. Uh, right? Baby, we're we, we going to talk. Uh, we going to get there. We're going to get there. Oh, but, my God. But right now, we're here. And <laughs> uh, we are here, and this look is amazing. Yes. Up next is Pink. You know, she ain't come to play. She didn't, and they're playing in her but face. But they keep playing in her face. Mm -hmm. I uh, think it's just because she's cis, cis female. Oh, because I feel like they they played in Visa's place, uh, face as well. And I really yes. think it's because Visa's from Mexico. It just, it really rubs me the wrong way. First, y'all ignored Shadron's blatant, blatant racism. Mm -hmm. And now this season, you're mistreating the only cis woman and the only immigrant. Well, I'm not sure if there's any other immigrants, but this immigrant's from Mexico. That, that don't mm -hmm. look good on y'all. That don't look good on y'all. And I'm going to say it. It really I'm don't. And I'm like, I, I really wish you would have waited and found out that there was going to be a Mexico season and came home. And it just, it irritates me. And I already know there's going to be some people in the comments because when, when I was calling out Sharon on last season, they're like, in Spain, we don't look at it that way. I don't care how y'all look at it in Spain. I'm telling you how worldwide that is frowned upon. Just because mm -hmm. y'all are okay with racism in Spain doesn't mean we're okay with it all around the world. Yeah, don't mean we're okay with sexism. Just because we got going on what we got going on, and especially since, you know, you and I are in Texas and we got all that bull crap going on. And I feel like even it's, though it's not they fair did to just judge pass them the Crown harshly. Act, and I don't um, feel like it's fair. I don't feel like it's fair that they're judging them harsher. Like, uh, we're yes. let's, let's I'll speak this now and I'll say it again when we get to the rules because they're like, oh well, you dance great, but we expected more. What the fuck do you mean? Look at the role she had. Look at the yeah, choreography that, that was presented for the rules. Because I'm like, her character didn't need that much dancing, so wouldn't be. What do you mean you and expected more dancing? Even the dance dancing. numbers. It's not like they were doing a Beyonce. Doom, 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 doom. Baby, it was very a basic move. If she was overdoing it, I guarantee you they would have critiqued her like, oh, you did good, but you were just doing way Let too me stop much. Stop I get this my hair and I just washed it's it. It's just, it, it, it annoyed me, but we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Anyway, um, so up next is Pink Shadora. Mm. Ah, I didn't particularly care for this. I didn't get it. I didn't particularly care for this. I up, didn't get it. Up next is the Macarena. I thought this was stunning. I'm like, okay, Macarena. Okay. You know what? I actually like that look. Mm hmm. I like this. Like I said, we're going to go through quickly because we I got. I mean, I, I understand, you know, the whole thing with the peacock feathers, but yeah, I, I actually kind of like it. Maybe if there had been something on the bottom. But other than that. Up next is Paquita. And this was stunning. This yes. was stunning. Mm hmm It wasn't stunning enough to keep her at the bottom. No. Nope. But it was stunning. Up next is Petita. Again, stunning. Baby, this giant feather. I love this. This that was everything. simple feather was just like. Baby, she walked out and said, oh, the category is feather. Okay, I'm coming out with a big old feather, honey. Yes. You want it, I'm, I'm going to take all you. these ostrich feathers and make a feather. Yep. Up next is Bestia. I really enjoyed this uh, number here. I really enjoyed the feathers coming out the bodysuit. I mm -hmm. I love the style that Bestia has. And yes. it kills me because when you see Bestia in the confessionals, you know, it's the pink uh, fur jacket. Like, you, you wouldn't think Bestia would go from that to this. <laughs> yeah, I love the transformation for Bestia. So yeah, I thought this was amazing. What did you think? I liked it. It was kind of cool. All right, up next is Hornella Gongoria. Oh, this why was you get this blurry ass picture? It had her name on it. If you no. go to the next one, there's a better one. She looks like a cat in feathers. I love this. I loved every second of this. I think I would have chose a different shoe. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I think I would have done the thigh high to give the full illusion or maybe just the heel. Because mm-hmm. I, uh, having this boot up to her knee really shortens the leg here. Mm-hmm. But... She looks like a feather duster. Knee up, love it. That's what I would have did. I'd have just liked the feather duster from Beauty and the Beast. Up next is Vanya, Vanilla, and Honey. Honey. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I don't understand how she didn't win. <laughs> I, I don't. They, I don't know. The, the way that they judge. Because four plus four. questionable sometimes. Four plus four equals eight. And that's exactly what she did in both the snatch game and on this runway. And if you add two to that, that's a 10 because there's tens, tens, tens across the board. New merch coming soon with that exact phrase. Baby, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand. Like, what do you mean Vanya didn't win? (sighs) And like, this would have been the perfect episode, her having her emotional moment at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Going to all the way to her winning the episode. Like, come on. the story It writes itself, producer. The story wrote itself. And y'all didn't... Ugh. They decided to play in everybody's face. I don't know what it is about season three. Like, typically, I agree with Espana's judging the past couple seasons. There was, mm-hmm. there was a few moments I'm like, eh, y'all trying us, but I see what y'all did. I'll allow it. This right. season? But I'm going to say that about all seasons of Drag Race this year. Season 15, All Stars mm. 8, Drag Race Sweden, Drag Race Belgium, all had questionable judging. Yes. And like it got hard to watch at one point because I'm like, y'all not judging fairly. No. Like we get it. The show needs to be produced. It is a television show. But the best producing is when you don't see the strings. Exactly. And we I mean, we all see, knew. We, we all knew who was see this the last strings. season. I'm but sorry. Still. But Drag Race Sweden, I know we didn't finish reviewing it, but they the, the way they did My Girl, I'm a Queen, I will never mm-hmm. forgive uh, Faux Fur. What was that her name? Faux Fur? The host. Uh-huh. Faux something. I will never forgive her for how she did I'm a Queen. Never. Now, don't get me wrong. Admira Thunder Pussy, clear winner. Like, one of my favorite winners ever. But baby, I'm a queen should have been in that finale. And I, I'm a stand on that hill. I'm a stand on that hill. Anyway, back to Drag Race Espana. Let's keep going because I'm trying to keep this under an hour. As you see, I got several screenshots because I was living. Yeah. So. Up next is Visa. Stunning. Baby, she gave us Day of the Dead realness. Yeah. And I, I really thought they were going to read her for this because, you know, they don't like when uh, people do their own culture. If it's not Spain, mm-hmm. they don't like it. But I was yeah. shocked. I was shocked. I'm like, okay, okay. What did you? Well, think I think look? they celebrate that there too. I don't think so. I don't. I think it's in particular with the Mexican and tradition. If I'm wrong, please let us know down in the comments. But I believe it's just with Mexican tradition that they celebrate the Day of the Dead. Um, and these are our runways right here. So who had your favorite look of the week? Who's in the the blue feather? That is Petita Queen. Petita. I have to give it to Vanya. Vanya Vanilla, she did that. She did. Ate it. No crumbs. And one thing about Vanya, because we're going to see this in the other looks. Vanya's either going to knock it out the park when it comes to a runway, or she's going to have the worst look of the week. It's one or the other. Mm-hmm. Because if once we get to next week, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> like, no, they celebrate it in Spain, too. They, do? they just okay. celebrate it on the second. Got you. Thank you for that clarification. Um, But yeah, one thing about Vanya, she's either going to knock that look out the park, or it's going to be one of the worst looks of the week. <laughs> Wait till next week because be maybe ooh wee, ooh wee, okay. Hey. So we find out that our t- oh I didn't okay our tops and bottoms for the week are <clears throat> in the top we have Pink Shadora, Visa, Ornelia, and Vanya. Um, the low placement went to Bestia. In the bottom two was Paquita and the Macarena. 
Do you agree Thanks. with the top and bottom placements? No. I I I don't disagree. Like when I look at this, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, if we're gonna do seven, I would have done eight and put Petita in the bottom, <laughs> or even put Petita in the bottom over Bestia because I feel like Petita straight up bombed. Right. The top I agree with. I would switch out Bestia with Petita. Hmm. And honestly, I think I would have put Petita in the bottom with the Macarena. I would have. And the winner, I would have done a double win with Ornelia and Vanya or just give it to Vanya by herself. You don't want to do a double win? Cool, give it to Vanya. Mm-hmm. But they gave it to Pink Shadora. Mm. But I will say, I love Pink was like, you know what? I truly feel like Ornelia won this, so I'm going to split half of my money with her. I'm like, that's good on you, honey. Good sportsmanship. Yeah, yeah, because she, she knew. <laughs> She's new, honey. Why did y'all say me? Especially when y'all finna play in her face. Well, they didn't play in her face, but they're gonna play in her face in a couple episodes down the road. Mm. <laughs> so it's just like, but honestly, when we get to that uh, return episode, I'm gonna tell you my theory because mm-hmm. I don't think they expected someone to do as well as she did. Right. And when she did well, they're like, fuck. <laughs> so now what do we gotta do? Um, <laughs> but they lip sync uh, the Macarena and Paquita. They lip sync to Desa Desa Tame Desa Tame Desa Tame Desa Tame. Hold on, let me go back. Desa Tame. Desa Tame. Desa Tame. Desa Tame by Monica. Monica um, what do we Naranja. think of this lip sync? Really, Monica Orange, huh? <laughs> What do we think of this lip sync? Uh, you know, this was not one of the best lip syncs. I felt like it was a good lip sync. It was decent lip sync. I, I thought it was decent, but I will say, listen here, Miss Paquita surprised me because, honey, I didn't expect her to do much. Baby, she was giving <laughs> us a little twirl. She was giving us a motion. I'm like, okay, Paquita. Okay. She's like, no, I want to stay. Baby, I thought she was going to give us a little park and bark, but baby, she was like, nah, I could do a little something-something. She said a little park and bark. Nah, baby, she gave us a little something-something, and I'm like, okay, okay. Um, but the winner of the lip sync was Paquita. Um, do you agree yeah. with her taking the victory? Uh, Yeah. I do, too. I think she did beat uh, the Macarena. I just hate Macarena didn't have that shining moment this right. season. It reminds me very much of Veronica Green. She never really had that shining moment when she came back for season three of UK. Well, shoot. She came back and then she left, like, episode one, didn't she? She left episode, like, three. But they played in her face that um, uh, stationary bike challenge that they did, that musical thing, they whatever they wanted to call that. Because she should have mm-hmm. won that. They played in her face on that. But anyway, the Macarena is gone. So we're going straight to the runway for next week's challenge. They're doing the Rusical. So, right off the top, what do we think of Supreme's look here? Oh my. How many shots of this did you... Oh my god. You should have been clicking along with me. I the Look, I could click along with y'all I want to, but it doesn't necessarily mean... That I'm gonna get be exactly where you are. <laughs> okay, are we looking at Supreme's look? Yes, we're looking at Supreme. What do we? She think looks of like Jimbo. She <laughs> looks like a clown. I don't like this look. <laughs> I don't think she looks like Jimbo. Um, I actually like this look. This is giving me very. Oh, I'm finna go chill on the lanai this afternoon, honey. A very yeah. relaxed. Um, Sunday afternoon, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? This is what I get from this look, so I live. No, I don't like all the little itty bitty string looks. So, we are joined this week by Javier Ambrosi, Anna Locking, and Javier Cavo. And this week's uh, special guest judge, the daughter of Penelope Cruz, Monica Cruz. Um, I didn't like her as a guest judge. I'm just gonna be honest. Huh? 
What do you mean the daughter of Penelope Cruz? Can we continue? Okay. Thank you. Shush. <laughs> Don't you shush me. <laughs> shush. Because you were they talk, I was like, she looked older than Penelope Cruz. And that ain't even how you spell Penelope Cruz's last name. So, and Margo Press Oz. Yes, the musical is a parody of The Wizard of Oz, which I'm like, by the time I've watched this, I already had my birthday weekend where I was watching all those movies. So mm. seeing this, I'm like, oh, we're doing The Wizard of Oz. I live. I live. <laughs> but this is the cast right here. I love that they actually had to audition. Yeah, I, do, I like that too. So that and way. They actually had like a director in there. Being like, okay, this is what we're doing. Now, granted, I bet the producers actually chose what they got. But still, <laughs> I, I like the illusion. Yeah. Feed, feed my delusion. And that's what they did. They fed my delusion. <laughs> uh, so we found out that Dora is Clover, bitch. We had T, which was Pink Shadora. We had Bruja Bruna, which was Vanya Vanilla. We had Bruja Mala, which was Bestia. And then Dragson Cabrera, which was Petita Queen. Uh, Dragson Corazon, which was Lisa. And Dragson Valor, which was Paquita. And then we have Mago Press, cause Ornelia Gongoria. Mago Press. So. Okay. Let's... Doro. So Doro is supposed to be. Dorothy. Dorothy. Dea is supposed to be. Toto. Toto, okay. Mm -hmm. And then Good the witch. rest of them. Bad witch. These are supposed to yeah. them supposed to represent, you know, the ten man scarecrow in Cowden Lion. Yeah, I, I I figured that. I was okay. just trying to figure out. Oh, honey, I'm, I'm gonna break it down for you. No, oh, no, I'm still taking Spanish lessons, so I know some words mean. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this musical. Um, let's click over and let's start off with the pair of Pink Shadora and Clover Beach. Um, what did we think of these two individually? Start with Pink Shador. How do you think Pink Shador did? Uh, maybe she's a dog. Pink Shador didn't know the choreography. At all. And it pissed me off that she wasn't at the bottom. It, but they got on uh, Clover Bitch about choreography. When she knew the choreography. But she knew the choreography. And I'm like, so, you can't sit here and be like, oh, you're a dancer. And I expect you to give more. And my thing is, if anything, they should have clocked Clover for her acting because the acting wasn't the best. I'm not going to sit here and be delusional about it. Mm -hmm. But they just toned in on her dancing when she did fine. Right. I truly feel like Clover should should have been safe in this challenge, and Miss Pink Shadora should have been in her spot because she mm -hmm. didn't know the choreography. Yes, yeah, she was good at the acting, but she didn't know the choreography. Nope. And it was obvious. Like it took me out of the performance. I'm like, girl, can you get it together? Goodness gracious. So we're moving on to Vanya as the Good Witch. And I thought she did an amazing job. She did. She did a really good job. She did a good job transitioning them from scene to scene. I enjoyed the song that she sang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, okay. So now we got the three, uh, Visa, Paquita, and Petita. And overall, I thought they were fine. Yeah, they were passable. They were passable. Honestly, you know, Petita ended up winning this challenge. And... I thought she did good, but she didn't do great, as they were saying. You know what I'm saying? They were like, yeah, oh, you stole I was the scene, blah, blah, blah. I'm honestly. like, don't get me wrong. She was funny, and I would have put her in the top. But again, you're telling me something that ain't adding up. Like, you're not showing right. me what y'all are seeing. Um, that's the, the that's footage the way I you put guys it. are showing is not adding up to the decisions you're making. Yeah. And like, Visa was not bad. Like, the right. way they toned in on Visa, I'm like, honey, y'all quit that. <laughs> y'all quit that right now. And I mean mm. right now. For real. Um, and then we're going to move on to Bestia. 
I honestly feel like she was robbed. She should have won this week's challenge. (laughs) When I tell you she committed to the evil witch, she was Oh, wholeheartedly. Like, in her runway, we'll get to it. I really enjoyed her runway this week, so I'm so confused on why she wasn't at least in the top. Mm-hmm. Like, she did so good. And then last, but definitely least, um, or- Ornelia as the wizard, the quick wizard. I didn't like this at all. And they praised her so they much. They praised her. Oh, I thought she, she was going to be in the bottom. Show. Like, when they and announced the top and bottoms, I'm like, yep, she in the bottom. And then they started praising her. I'm like, what? Right. Oh, she came out of her shell. You see how she committed to the bit wet and the whatever the dancer being between her legs. And I'm just like, what? Again, the math ain't massive. And nope. the audience is not dumb. No. Nope. The audience is not dumb. We might not pay attention all the time. But overall, I really enjoyed this um rusical. And, like, I know we went in, but, like, nobody bombed. No. The only one that was, like, obvious bad was Pink Shador. But, she, like I said, she did a really good job at the acting. I'm like, okay, we'll forgive the dancing until the judging, and you need to be, you need to pay for mm-hmm. those things. Okay. But overall, it was really good. Really good. That Like, this and last season's Rusko, baby, their Rusko last season. You couldn't tell me. Yeah. That. I thought we was watching an actual stage play. Yeah. It was good. And the fact that Last it was based off of the Javi's TV show or a play that they written, I'm like, mm-hmm. you can, baby, it was so good. I go back and watch that. I ain't did it in a while, but I used to go back and watch it from time to time. Because, baby, they did that. They did that. But anyway, so now the category is, oh, I thought I took a screenshot of it, but it is three looks in one. Yes. So uh, first we have Paquita. This is her first look. All mm-hmm. cute, yellow. And then, boom, boom, we revealed into this lovely flamenco moment. And then, bam, bam, into a bathing suit. So, what do we think of the collection of looks here? Uh, I mean, they were consistent. Yeah, I really liked the first two. The last one was okay. Yeah. And with her reveals, I saw them coming. That part. I'm like, oh, she's going to flop that down. It's going to be a dress. And I'm like, oh, she's going to split that open and show something underneath. I'm like, okay. With me, mm-hmm. when it comes to reveals, and you know what? They can blame the all winter season because, you know, they did a category on reveals. And, like, they yeah. knocked that out the park. Yes. So now, like, my level, my expectation is up here. <laughs> and I know it's not fair. I know it's not fair to have the expectation up here. Especially with oh, them yeah. competing for the first time. They don't got all-star money, let alone all winter exactly. money. Okay. So it's just Cause, like because look, because Vanya Vanilla did the same concept as as Jada Essence Hall, and it was ooh, not executed ooh, very well terrible, at all. Terrible, honey. But let's continue on. Up, oh, that's who's next. <laughs> Vanya Vanilla. Um, she gave us the seasons, all the seasons. First was winter. Mm-hmm. Then it was fall. Then Which she was went ugly. to spring. Then which was still ugly. Summer. Which was god awful. Ugly. Like I said, Vanya's either going to knock it out the park or give you, <laughs> She going to dig herself a whole big Or give you the worst look you've ever seen. <laughs> and I feel like this queen right here, like I feel like with time and some more coin, you know, once she gets the tour and all the other stuff, if she decides to do an all stars versus the world, whatever, whatever. Oh, she's mm-hmm. gonna come through. Cause she already got the acting and the comedy chops. Let her come through with the runways in order. <laughs> I feel bad for the rest of the cast. I honestly do. Mm. And that's if she don't win this season. She might she might be able to pull it out because you know Sharon's one and her looks weren't the best. Right. Her but we all knew Sharon best. was gonna win. But yeah, we knew from the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah. Like, because there are some legend queens where you they walk in and you're like, okay, they got this. I remember when this season first started, I'm like, I have no idea who's going to win. Now I do. I still don't know. I have a good idea who I think they're going to crown. 
mm-hmm. because they have given her multiple wins that don't make no sense to me. Mm. And that the one the winner of this week, Petita Queen, mark my words, she's gonna win this season. Mark it. Because yeah, the favoritism, like she should have mm. been lip syncing in the snatch game. I'm honestly shocked they had her lip sync in the next episode, but we'll get there. Oh, we're, right. we're pushing it. Okay, up next is Ornelia Gongoria. We start off with this little plastic bag look. The garbage look. Yep, then we went here, and then boom. All three looks were terrible. What did you think? Same. All right, moving onwards. Up next is Pink Shadora. What did you think of her collection of looks? Um, what was this? I didn't like the first two. But that last one, like when she let that hair down, I'm like, you know what? This last one's cute. Yeah, the last one was good. Them first two the first were like... Two, it was a chop. Questionable. A chop. Up next is Petita. So we start off with this velvet number. Now, I didn't care for this second look. This green dress. Mm-hmm. Didn't care for it. And I definitely didn't care for her final dress. And I remember them be like, oh, we love how it just covered up the other ones. Honey, do you not see how big and unproportionized this is? I guarantee, I bet, I bet if Clover would have did this, they would have read her. Yes. They would have read, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I am. Moving on to Bestia, giving us Mother Earth. Mm-hmm. First, we were the rock. We were the then earth. Then we were the clouds. Then we would have air. But yeah, I love all three of these looks. I thought these were... It told a story. Mm-hmm. They were all executed amazingly. I don't think I would have done the thigh highs. I know. You know me. I love a thigh high. Right. I don't think but I she, you haven't really been been into them lately. Not oh, with no, a no, lot no. of them. I'm still into them, but only if they are appropriate. And I feel like this this would have been a, a nasty like platform right here would have been everything. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if she can handle the platform, but you know, if I could handle the platform, I don't know if I could handle a platform, honey. I'm, this look would have got the platforms, okay? Like the Raja mm-hmm. O'Hara of platforms. <laughs> yes, honey. All right, so we are going, if I can get my mouse to work, there we go. Up next is Visa. Now, Visa. I did not care for the second look. This first look with the butterflies, cute. The second look, girl, what was this? <laughs> I don't know, but this final butterfly look was everything. Like, I just like the third look. I really wasn't too fond of the first two looks. Yeah, and like I said, it's not their fault, but All Star 7 really spoiled us on reveals. So now mm-hmm. we're sitting here and we're like, mm. 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 Up next is Clover Bish, and I'm going to tell you now, I loved all three of these looks. Yeah, she really killed it, and again, this is why I'm like, no, they keep playing in her face. Yeah, she should have been safe this week. Honest. Yes. Now, who do you, who had the best collection of looks for you? Damn, we read pretty much everybody's. <laughs> Except for Clover Bitch. <laughs> Clover Bitch the one I like. <laughs> and I think I would give mine to Paquita. Even though the final look wasn't my favorite, I enjoyed the three. Mm-hmm. The three. So, we find out that the tops and bottoms for this week, in the top, we have Petita, Vanya, Vanilla, Ornelia, and then the bottom, we got Paquita, Clover, and Visa. Do we agree with the tops and the bottoms? No. Not at all. If this was Desmond's Drag Race España season three, we would have, in the top, (laughs) we would have Vanya, Bestia, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will put Petita still up there. I think out of the three, she did do the best. I think she should get credit for that. But honestly, I would have I would have gave it to Bestia this week. I really would have. And in the bottom, I would have had Ornelia. Mm-hmm. I would have had Pink Shadora. 
And if I had to have a low placement, I guess Visa would have to be low. I guess. Mm-hmm. But I would have Pink Shadora and um, Ornelia as the bottom two of this week. Me, personally. Mm-hmm. But we find out that the winner is Petita. Yay. And Yay. our bottom two was Visa and Clover Fish. Baby. Woohoo! Now this Clover Fish was said, I'm going to give you a show. Oh, you want to see me dance? Well. They did Dime by Beth. Oh, and I know Dime means tell me, okay? Because one of my favorite songs in Spanish is by uh, Rakim E. Oh, I can't remember the second name attached to that, but it's called Dime. And oh, that is my song right there, honey. Don't know what they say, but I'm sitting there. Dime, como, oh, vi, gale. Baby, don't play with me. But anyway, um, what do we think of this lip sync? Uh-oh. Again, I think Clover Bitch killed it. Baby, they both killed it. Miss Visa, although I do think Clover did better. Miss Visa was like, uh-uh, I'm not going down without a fight. No, ma'am. Right. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Spam, baby. No turkey. They was twirling. They started stripping these clothes. I'm like, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, they were eating up because everybody in that room was gagging. Yes. I'm like, this, this. in my opinion, I think this might be the second best lip sync Drag Race España has ever had. Like, the best one has to be Carmen Lips. Barala doing the Lips. Cat in the Rain. Lips. Yeah, Cat in the Rain is still my favorite lip sync. Mm-hmm. But this is now number two, honey, because baby, baby, this was everything. Honestly, I really thought this was going to be the first double save on this show. Mm, because I don't think Supreme's ever done a double save. Nope. And now, you know, knowing then I didn't know the next episode was the comeback, so I see why they chose somebody to go home. But, mm-hmm. like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, you can't send either one of them home after this. You can't. And, like, the judges were living. Like, this This was just, I've rewatched this lipstick several times. Baby, when Visa did the cartwheel into the split while Clover was doing the front wheel into the sliding knee, oh, bitch. And the way that they, they barely missed each other, like, that's how close they were. Like, it was, so, oh, it was so good. It was so good. I was living, honey. Look, the, the queens are living in the back. The judges are living. Like, this was, this was so good. And I remember I was laying here in this bed, baby. I shot up and I screamed. That's how you fucking lip sync for your life, baby. Oh, I was always I was right there with you. Oh, if I would have had my fan, I would have cock, 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 cock. <laughs> and like, look at Javier uh, Cavo. Like he is running. <laughs> right. Like up uh, standing, they was out they seats. Like, this was a lip sync. Oh, and I was so mad somebody went home. I'm like, no. No, they can't go. Oh, my goodness. Espana needed, this season needed this lip sync. It needed. Because it really be like, it really reconnected me to season three. I'm like, okay. Okay, I can, I can push through. Y'all playing with me with this judging. But I can push through. Whew. But they did the voting, and we found out that they decided to keep Clover Bish. If you had to pick one or the other, I guess Clover, she did do a hair better. Just a hair. Just a hair better for me. Mm. Just a hair. But that means we had to say goodbye to Visa, or we thought. Because so they returned to the workroom, you know. They're saying their goodbyes. Oh, we're going to miss you. I love you, Visa. And then, boom. Baby, I thought I was watching All Stars 2 for a second. Uh huh. They popped up behind that screen. <laughs> and on top of that, they are wearing the outfits that they were eliminated in. I love mm-hmm. that extra touch. I'm like, that's smart, making them put on the outfits that they were eliminated in. That's real smart, real smart. Oh, baby, but here they come back in the workroom. We, we're welcoming back Maria, Drag Tucci, Chanel, Kelly Roller. 
the Macarena, and of course, the recently eliminated Visa. So it's the next day in the workroom, and Supreme announces that we are doing the Queens of Comedy Challenge, similar to how they did in All Stars 2. That's why I made that All Stars 2 reference. Mm -hmm. Where the eliminated queens get to choose one of the queens who are still in the competition to, Mm -hmm. uh, to do the comedy pairing with. So we are going to, woo, woo, wrong thing. We are going, (laughs) oh shit, what happened? Well, I know what happened. Here we go. (laughs) You can't see it, but when you watch this back, you'll see what happened. Oh, Oh, Lord. I was playing on the Drag Race simulator earlier and I accidentally clicked on that than what I was meant to click on. But anyway, so we found out the teams are... Visa and Petita Queen. Now, baby, this was shady. I don't care what she say. She was shady when she did this. because when she, she knew what she was doing. When she came back in, she was like, no, they've been favoring you, Petita. And I'm like, yeah, tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Because she shouldn't have won that last week's challenge. And she should have been in the bottom for the Snatch Game. I'm right there with you, sister. Tell her. <laughs> tell her. <laughs> baby, I'm sitting there living. I'm like, get her. Get her, Jade. Get her. Get her, Jade. <laughs> oh I did I say go get her go get her um, but then we had uh, the Macarena who chose Pink Shadora uh, Kelly Roller who chose Vanya Vanilla mm-hmm. um, and then we had Chanel and Rex picking Ornelia Gongoria um, we which had... left our dear sis huh I said which left our dear sis Oh, yeah, Drag Chuchi chose, um, who did she choose? Bestia. And then uh, Maria chose Paquita, which left mm-hmm. our good sis, Clover Beach, by herself. And I'm like, watch them make her the MC, and that's what they did. Mm-hmm. They made her the MC, and I'm like, makes sense. Makes yeah. sense, because that's what they did with Roxy. When there was nobody left, they're like, okay, Roxy, you're the MC. Good luck. Yeah. So, I believe we're going straight to it. Yep. So, what did we think of Supreme's look this week? A leather and lace, baby. It was beautiful. I think one of my favorites. No, I know one of my favorites from this season. Like, mm-hmm. Supreme did that. Uh, but we were joined this week by Javier Ambrosi, Ana Locking, and Javier Cavo with our special guest judge, Eva Serrano. And I forgot to mention that the winning pair, the winner obviously gets the cash prize, and then the eliminated queen gets to come back to the competition. But mm. we are saying goodbye to two queens. That part gagged me. I'm like, wait, we're saying goodbye to two? We're doing a three way lip sync, and two queens are going home. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, they didn't have it in the production to give them an extra episode. So they had to get rid of a queen and another queen on top of that so we can still have, we can keep the same number. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, I see why y'all did it. But come on, uh, people who were behind Drag Race España, y'all could have gave them one more episode. Y'all could have put it in the budget. Y'all could have. Especially if y'all knew y'all were doing a comeback challenge like this, y'all could have put it in mm-hmm. the budget. Y'all come back. And I love how they were all like, oh, this is the first for Drag Race España. Like, everybody was so excited. I'm like, oh, I love how excited everybody was to do it. All right. So it's time for the comedy queens. Up first, we had Clover Bish. I don't know how she didn't win. That part, because she was funny. And she, like, she had commentary for everybody's yes. set. Like, she was quick with it. She, she, if they bombed, she came up there and was like, well. <laughs> well. Well. She had something to say. And if they did good, she was like, oh, good for you. And she looks stunning in this red dress here. I'm like, okay, ma'am. Okay. Right? I don't know. Like I said, they playing in my good sister's face. Yep, they are. So let's talk about these duos. Up first, we had Maria and Paquita. This was not good. No. Not good at all. Especially not with that whole giving birth thing. Yeah, I thought that was random. And then they made fun of the Lion King. And, you know, I love the Lion King. And I, I, I think everything can be made fun of. But I, I, I didn't particularly care for that. Mm-mm. I didn't. Um, up next, we had Drag Tucci and Bestia. And I thought they did okay. Yeah. 
I thought they didn't do bad, but they they definitely weren't the, the best. Yeah, yeah but got a I, I chuckle. chuckled a little bit. I chuckle chuckled. I feel like if Bestia would have had a different partner, maybe it would have been a, a different outcome because it was mm-hmm. Chuchi for me. But Chuchi got there. Like she started off rough, but by the end, I got I, I chuckle chuckled a little bit at her too. <laughs> chuckle chuckle. Up next, uh, we have Chanel NRX and Ornelia Gongoria. This was amazing. Yeah, I, I that was freaking hilarious. That was I laughed so, so hard. Good. That was so good. <laughs> oh, my thing was if uh, what you call it, if Clover didn't win, I, they were my pick. After Clover, I'm like, okay, if they must pick a pair. Mm-hmm. I would have said Chanel and um, Ornelia. But baby, it, it was so funny. They committed to the characters. It was good. Real good. Um, up next, we have Vanya Vanilla and Kelly Roller. I didn't particularly care for this. I didn't either. I'm, like, I'm it's, like it, got there, it got there at the end. I'm like, okay, ha, ha, ha. But like, it really didn't it didn't work. It was slow coming though. And, and um, you know, they were having all these sex jokes, which I thought those were great. But it was just like it took a while before they got funny, right? Because they, were, other than that, they were just very uncomfortable. Yeah, like I, I'm really, I'm, I think they were trying to make this up to Vanya because they played in her face in the snatch game. Mm-hmm. They're like, we really should give her this win. I, I guess Kelly can come back. Uh, that's honestly what I think. Because I mean, I said I, I alluded to this early, but I truly feel like they expected Clover to bomb. Like, right. I truly feel like they were going to try to send Clover home this episode, especially with the whole, oh, two queens got to go. Mm-hmm. I don't think they expected Clover to do as well as she did. Honestly, I don't see Clover making it much longer in this competition because I guarantee they're going to play in her face again next week. They are. I guarantee you. So let's move onwards to the next group, which was the Macarena and Pink Shadora. This was not funny at all. What the heck was that? I I don't know. There was no chuckle chuckle. Nothing. Nothing. That was crickets. Crickets. Speaking of crickets, same thing for Visa and Petita. Oh, God. That was worse. Like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, girl. Oh, girl, what's going on up in here? What is But I think she did that on purpose. I truly think so, too. I think she did that on purpose. I would have done the same thing. Especially because if I was in Visa's shoes, I'm like, okay, they played in my face. They're not going to crown me. So what what can I do? I'm going to pick the front runner and bomb on purpose. Yeah. I'm not saying she did, but I'm saying I would have. (laughs) <laughs> dead ass and then the next day when we do the confessionals I would have told the confessional this is my plan I wanted mm-hmm. her to fail so what so what especially if I felt like some favoritism was going on hell yeah I would mm-hmm. but anyway um, the category is wig uh, palooza baby wig a palooza wig a palooza up uh, first is Pink Shadora. Pink I thought this was cute. Yeah, it was alright. I'm like, okay, the smoke coming out the wig. Okay, that's cute. With it, with yeah. the category being wig. Yeah, I really want to wig. That just wasn't giving me wig. Yeah, it was like it's, it's wig. giving wig, but like I wanted wig. You know what I'm saying? That part. I want wig. Um, up next is Petita. I thought this was stunning. Yeah, that was wig. Now that's wig. That's wig. That that's like Texas drag level of wig right there. Cause you know we up, up to God, honey. Up to God. Closer to God. Higher the wig, closer to God, honey. Mm-hmm. And I, I can dig it. I can dig it. The pink and the orange go good together. Yes, it really did. Up Classic next- drag race colors. Up next Where is, is my badge? I have no idea. Up next is Bestia. This is cute, but the focus wasn't the wig. That part. It... I'm like, if this is wig palooza, like we we need to focus on the wig. I think they thought it was just. How, do we think that the prompt was like hair a palooza or something? Maybe if the cap, maybe they could have just said you know hair, 
And then I could see where Bestia came from. But like, if it if wig is what we were told, <laughs> so I'm gonna have mm-hmm. to judge off of what I was told. Wig. Um. Oh, I took several screenshots. Oh yeah, I had to take several screenshots because I couldn't get a a full front image of it. So I'm like, we'll have to just work with what we got here. Um, Mm -hmm. Up next is Vanya Vanilla. And again, this is a no for me. This is a no. You know, we've seen it before, but we've seen it executed better. I think that's what it is. Like we've seen it and we've seen it better. Because it reminds me of, of why can't I remember this baby's name? Who was the who was the the winner? The winner of who? On, on Candy season. Candy. Muse. Simone. Simone. There we go. Look, I'm having a brain for it. You're good. Because <laughs> Candy, Candy. Oh my God! When Candy did hers, that was. Mm-mm. Not Candy, but when Simone did her hair look, that was gorgeous. I don't know what this is. I think because it's blonde. I don't know. I didn't care for it. Up next, we have Ornelia Gongoria. Um, we start out in this lovely little coat here. And then, boom! Mm-hmm. We go to S, 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 and who? M, M, M. I thought this was stunning. I really liked it. <laughs> I did. I did. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, okay, I can get jiggy with this. <laughs> and I love the hair around the waist. I'm like, okay, okay. The Merkin. The Merkin. <laughs> um, we move on to Clover Beach, and this is everything. Yes. This was everything. And I love that yes. she even put a little chin beard. I'm like, okay. Oh okay. my god, the beard was everything for me. This this all it checked every box for me. Like, yes. This was really like cool. And if they had put her in the bottom, I'd have been like, we're not watching this anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to review this by yourself. Up next is Paquita. I get where she was going. I you don't know, like it. we've seen this look before, too. I just didn't like it. I see where I she was going. It. I just, it didn't work. Like, just watching it now is making my, my skin crawl. I can't. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen it but done before and we've seen it done better yeah here's all the queens who had I, I wish the eliminated queens could have showed off their wig look too you know what I I wanted that too but out of the queens who are still in the competition who had your favorite look um Clover Bish I agree it's Clover like it was what it is so we find out that Vanya Vanilla and Kelly Roller won this week's challenge. Do you agree? I guess. I don't. I don't it should have been Clover. It should have been Clover. I'm glad they gave her praise this week, but I really right. would have gave it to Clover. If not Clover, I would have gave it to Ornelia. Why won't they let Clover win one? I don't know. Like I said, they have an issue with Clover, and I'm standing on that hill. Yeah, I will die on that hill. They are clearly mistreating her. We need to get her in front of RuPaul, in front of Brooklyn, in front of somebody who's going to appreciate her. Her, exactly. For her just existing. I, I, yes. I truly feel like that. But because Vanya won, that means Kelly Roller is back in the competition. I truly feel like another reason they didn't, close, they didn't choose Clover, because I guarantee you Clover would have chose Visa. Mm. especially with Visa just going home. She had that amazing lip sync and she had all those nice things to say about Visa at the beginning. I guarantee you she would have chose Visa and they didn't want Visa back in the competition. Yeah, because I think Visa would have won it. But hey, it is what it is. And we find out that the bottom three for this week is Petita, Paquita, and Pink Shadora. I actually agree with this bottom three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because Ornelia shouldn't have been there. And uh, Bestia, she did an okay job too. So, yeah, this is the bottom three. I actually agree with this bottom three. So, this bottom three lip syncs to No Control S by Ole Ole. And, um... I had to watch this twice. I've watched this several times. Because Miss Petita? (laughs) I was not expecting that from her. 
She said she could dance. Baby, she was pushing all over that stage. Baby, what was Pink Shador doing? What was Pink Shador doing, honey? Pink Shador was pushing all over that stage. I don't know. I don't know either. Paquita was over there trying. But but Miss Petita, oh honey, when she did the little reveal was like floop, I'm like, oh, oh, baby, she was flooping the hair. I'm like, oh see. She eating. She really mm. is. She ate them two mm. up. She did. <laughs> like I said, I've watched this several times and I'm like, I can't I can't even look at the other two because Petita Queen is killing it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ma'am, you in that broken fingers over there killing it, okay? <laughs> over there killing it. But the judges, you know, after the lip sync, the judges did their evaluate, not evaluation, they did their vote, and they decided that Petita Queen is staying in the competition. Do you agree? Based on the lip sync, yeah. Yeah, I think she was the best in the lip sync. And although some of her wins were questionable, she has the better track record as well. So mm-hmm. it helps having the better track record and lip syncing the best. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know, sometimes they'll overlook the lip sync and be like, oh, we're gonna keep this queen because she has three wins and you haven't had any, even though you clearly won the lip sync. Right. But yeah, like th- that one season. But that means we had to say goodbye to Paquita and Pink Shadora. Which yeah. And all I'm going to say is wink, wink for both of them. Mm-hmm. So, ooh, 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 that's all stars. That was all stars. Get out of there. All right, honey. And that's it. We did it. We are fully <laughs> caught up. Three did episodes. We managed to do it in an hour. An hour and like 12 minutes. We did it. We're only a little bit over. But I really, uh, as much as I, I'm i irritated by the judging, I still love Espana. Like, I just love watching. It just, it really irritates me when they play in our face. Yes, like, like we don't see. Like, they're doing with all We got eyes, we can see. Like they did with season 15. Like, you're playing in our face, and we don't like that. This is no. how you get people to stop watching the show. Yeah. That, that's what's going to happen. You keep playing in our faces, people are going to stop watching. People already complained about too much drag race, and then on top of that, you're not doing fair judging? Mm mm. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have people stop watching, and then you're gonna be looking stupid when all these shows are getting canceled. When, when I think it's really important that we have all these shows around the world. Yep. But hey, let's go I ahead and wrap things up here. We've been on way too long. Cresha, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Cresha McGill. That's C R E S H A M C G I L L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S I M P L Y D E S M O N D. Um, I will be posting on my Instagram the pictures of the queens that I took with on DragCon. I haven't posted any me of too. them yet. Um, I posted one today. Yeah, I saw you posted yours with Mr. Gorney Beaver. Hey, Sigourney. Um, Hi, I, I have one with her too, so I'm definitely going to be posting that. Uh, it'll most likely this weekend because I've just been so busy. So this weekend I'll be able just to sit down and one by one post each picture. And see, I'm glad we're on the same page with that. I was like, I'm just gonna post one. I'm tempted to post another one, but then I was now, like, I no, my algorithm them all is going on to Twitter. Yeah. But like, I didn't put any messages with them. I just be like, here, this was Dragon, <laughs> right? But yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching, and we will see y'all next time. Bye.